Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we are going to see how you can perform fuzzing onto a web application. So in this video, this is a local web application which I have hosted. So uh, we are going to fuzz on this particular web app to identify if uh, we can find uh, something uh, sensitive out of this particular web application. So we are we are able to set our target and our target is this particular web application now the second thing is we need to identify the word list and the injection point and then finally we are going to start fuzzing as this is the process that we have learned into our previous videos all right so for the word list, we have an excellent word list, word list which is provided at a sec list. So you can directly jump to sec list of fuzzing and you can see these are all the payloads that we can utilize for a fuzzing, which starts from special characters, fuzz boom, extensions, characters, alphanumeric, XXE, URI, XSS, SSI, JSON, HTML, uh, 1 to 4, all letters A to Z, XSS, user agents, SQLI, polyglots, LFI, databases for SQL injection. So I'll just go to LFI. In LFI, you can see we have the JSON Hadix LFI JADX.txt word list, which will be useful for finding LFI based vulnerabilities. So we are going to use this one. So I'll just open that and I'll just copy this. 914 lines all right so we have identified the web application and also we have the word list that we are going to use so in this video we are going to use a burp suit as our tool for fuzzing before going to burp suit let me also show you the word list which we are going to use this are one of the amazing word list that you can use this is by the first DB project, which is uh, useful for uh, fuzzing. You can choose the attack, discovery, rejects, word list, miscellaneous, user password, word list. That will be very, very helpful for the attacks. Also, the payload, all things, word list are amazing. And we are going to use this word list as well for our attacks. If I go in file inclusion and go to intruders, we have a lot of word list over here as well. This is the JADX LFI, LFI FD, Mac files, list of files to include and a lot of stuff. Also, this one is also a very good resource for fuzzing. And you can also utilize the dictionary.txt, which is given by the DIR search DB. Again, a very, very useful resource to identify a lot of uh, sensitive endpoints. All right, so let's quickly jump on to this web application again, and let's see how we can uh, test this or fuzz this. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up burp suit. So my burp suit is already configured with the particular Firefox browser. Now I'm just going to intercept on and I'm going to reload the application. Once I will get the request into my browser, I'm going to send this to intruder. Once I send this to intruder, I'll just turn this off. Go to the intruder tab and you can see over here, there are four tabs, target, position, payloads and options. The target tab shows about the target that we have selected currently and which we are working on. So our target is this particular web application, as you can see over here. The position tab is the place where we are going to choose the injection point. So let's say our injection point B over here. So let's say I will just write here one and choose that. So we are going to fuzz at the root of this particular web application. Now I'll just go in payloads and we have copied the payload list and I will just paste it over here. To increase the speed of the fuzzing, you can increase the threads as well. So let's say I increase the threads to 100. Into the community edition, you will not get the options to tune in the request engine threads, 
but still that is fine you can still run that default on five threads let me just start the attack and you can see it is doing so quickly and it has already tried more than 600 word lists positions from the list that we have uh, supplied and you can see the task is finished let me just click on status so when i click on status then you will be able to see the status code with 200 okay so as you can see i have got one 200 okay let me click on that and you can see it is a pass wd so let us see the response and in the response you can see we are able to see the password file of the user so let me just send this to repeater and let's see it over here again and over here you can see this is the pass wd file which contains the passwords of all the users which are added into that particular web application and we can see over here the users are golf admin ftp ftp user tom shifa olsen wolf puja and sohil so this is the past wd file yes so as we have seen the sensitive information that we have got onto the demo web application now we are going to try onto this application which is a live web application all right so now how to identify sensitive file found or past wd files from any particular server so for this what we are going to do is we are going to fire up FFUF and we are going to use that. So I will quickly go on to my terminal and I'm going to type this command and let's break down FFUF hyphen U basically means the URL that we are going to supply, which is this particular URL. And where is the injection point? where you want to start fuzzing so I, I want to start fuzzing over here so i'm going to type fuzz over here hyphen w stands for a word list so you can supply any word list that you want you can download some of the cool word lists like jdxall.txt also there are many sec list word lists that you can use i have created my custom word list for this demonstration so that this works fast and we are able to see the output hyphen C stands for color matching hyphen R stands for redirect and to follow the re redirects where the URL are going and hyphen V stands for to show the output in verbose mode to know what exactly is happening into the background. Let me hit enter and you can see over here that we have got some status 200 and let's see where we have got this. So as you can see over here we have got this for root as you can see so we have found a valid directory which is root now as you notice over here we have not found anything valid over here there is only one directory which is root so in this cases some of the web applications which have nested urls or nested directories which the results you get like this so you have to start fuzzing onto those nested parameters that you have received all right so now as i know the next directory is root so i'm going to start fuzzing with this particular url so i'm going to write fuzz after what i have discovered right now and i will hit enter and let's see if we get something and as this is running, then we have got sum of 200 OK status code, which means we are able to successfully get something. Let's see what we are able to get. So here it is root, root. And here we are able to get ETC group. So let's see if we are able to see ETC group. Also, if you notice, we are able to see ETC pass WD as well. So let me just go and verify if we are able to see the etc group file and perfect i'm able to see this let's try to see the past wd file as well and yes this file is visible as well remember these are the sensitive files and if you are able to identify these files into any particular web server then this is considered to be a dangerous vulnerability so i hope you guys understood this thank you